I hate this Lions game so damn much. I really do. Because it's literally, it's it. they prove to us that they're losers. And you know what losers do? They lose. Bad mm-hmm. teams find a way to lose. Good teams find a way to win. Dude, um, what is it, Bill Parcells? The more, te- more games are lost in this league than they are won. We lost on Sunday. Detroit didn't win that game. We lost that game. Yeah. And so I, you know, I, I can be hopeful, but this team has shown me what it is. They're going to lose. They're going to lose. I don't know what the score is going to be. Maybe it'll be close. Maybe they'll have a two-score lead. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't matter anymore. I know the end result is going to be a big fat L. Uh, I think we're going to win. I think the Bears are going to win by a lot. There was a lot of positives to gain from this last game. And here's here's the silver lining slash, you know, just obnoxious optimism side of this. Going into the Lions game, did you even think it would be a chance for the Bears to win? Going into it? Yes. Really? I thought they I'm were going to get yeah. absolutely destroyed. Yeah, I thought I thought it was like a 90-10 chance. However, I well, still thought there was a 10% of course. chance. I mean, just more in terms yeah, of like so- what did you think it was. The the Lions are just a much better team, and the Bears are showing that at this point, whether they're losers or not, they're scrappy as all hell. Campbell press conference before during the week, he predicted this game literally down to the down to how it ended. Like go watch Wednesday, Matt, Dan Campbell. He's saying, you know, these guys play hard. There's some tough guys on each side of the ball. There's some guys you got need to look out. They make some plays, and this this game is going to come down to the fourth quarter, and maybe on one one or two drives. That was Dan Campbell's like word for word Wednesday press conference. And so like he predicted it dead on. So he knew what was going on. And I think, I think if this is where I get scared about keeping Matt Eberflus, but at the same time, like if this is the, if we have seven weeks of football, left, it's a lot of time. And this is the second half of the year. You got Javon Dexter playing better. You got your rookies playing better. You got your defense gelling. Justin Fields is on a mission to just say, you, I'm good. I think you have some really scary potential wins in here. I think that there's going to be three to four more wins in the last seven games. I, that's how bold I am about how steady I think this team is growing. And if they do win three to four more games, then you do have to debate, like, does Matt Eberflus? There's a lot of opinions I have that don't necessarily agree with what I think is going to happen. And that's not being contradictory. That's just being a little bit more nebulous, you know? Like, I, I what I see is... This is where the nuance of like when people crap on us in comments and everything like you can't have this opinion while having this opinion. Both can be true. Sorry to break it to you. Um, I think there's a lot wrong with the coaching staff and a lot wrong with the team. But a team can play hard for each other and a team can play hard for its coaches and all that stuff. They're definitely not playing hard for the coaches anymore. But these are young players that they're not ready to quit their NFL career right now. Like, there's a few players on this team that definitely want to leave. Probably Justin Fields, definitely Jalen Johnson, most likely Darnell Mooney. And that's like, that. that is what it is. But right now, all I've seen is really consistent defensive play and a lot of strong, like, 4-3 traditional stuff. Like, don't give up big plays, make defenses beat you. And right now, you have Josh Dobbs, potentially Justin Jefferson, and a Vikings defense that is not very good. So... I wouldn't be surprised in like a 30 to 17 Bears win. I think that the Vikings are just really bad right now and the Bears are getting better. Oh, and that's fair. Um, I just, at this point, I, I, I you got, you got to prove it to me before. I've I, been broken. I've been broken by them know, as well. Yeah. Don't, don't get me wrong. Like I, I don't expect a win, but I predict it. Right, I expect them to lose, but in terms of like a breakdown of what do you see that's going on, the Josh Dobbs fairy tale has to end at some point. It will, and this is the right team to to end it. I think a steady, you know, dink and dunk, make him not make mistakes. If Josh Dobbs just throws seventeen for twenty two for one eighty and two touchdowns, that just means he's just a damn good. Like he should probably be a starter somewhere. Um. Other than that, I mean, there's nothing on the Vikings that's scary. It's just a better coached team. So I guess that's the the, the argument to be made, right? Which is what we've been making for 40, 48 minutes. Like, this, this team is just an absolute joke 
in the way it's coached. And if it gets out coached by Kevin O'Connell, then just more fuel to the fire of Matt Eberflus. It's really a win-win. <laughs> if, if they get out coached, it's just please fire him. And if they win, at least there's some progress to young young players.